This is Cloning with Rooting Cubes in 60 Seconds, brought to you by TPS Nutrients. Let's start the clock. Today we're going to transplant some cuttings into Rooting Cubes. Any brand will be fine. We have a fresh pack of Rooting Cubes, which are an alternative to Rockwell Cubes, and we also have a shiny new clone dome with plenty of space and some vents on the top to manage humidity. We're in the middle of a pheno hunt, so we have labeled our seedling tray to make sure we keep track of our plants. Rooting Cubes come pre-moistened with a hole on the top for a seed or a cutting. We're going to give our cutting a fresh trim and then soak the end in Clonix Rooting Gel for about 10 seconds. Rooting Gel supplies hormones that expedite the rooting process. Then we push the cutting into the Rooting Cube until we feel some resistance and place it in the tray. Then we move through the remainder of our clones and make sure they're all set up for success. Next we give each cube a spray of fresh, pH-balanced water and also give the leaves a foliar spray. Make sure to keep the cubes moist but not soaked during the entire rooting process. Then we spray inside the dome to increase the overall humidity. We leave the vents closed for the first few days since clones love high humidity in the beginning. We do recommend lifting off the top once a day for some air exchange and using Canopy Boost three times per week as part of the foliar regimen. Feel free to open up the air vents a bit after the first few days. Thanks for watching Higher Education. Make sure to subscribe and let us know if you have any other cloning tips in a comment below. We'll see you on the next episode of Higher Education.